Earlier on in the series, we discussed the importance of purpose in public speaking and giving presentations in an organizational setting. And there are a number of different purposes that you could have as a speaker. You could speak to inform, to persuade, to entertain, to commemorate. And while any of these is fine, it's important that we identify specifically what it is we're here to do, because each of them will have a different purpose and a different goal, a different end result. So in this video, I'd like to speak to the idea of speaking to inform and give some tips on how we can speak to inform effectively. When we speak to inform, our purpose, our goal is to educate or enlighten the audience. We are essentially acting as a teacher. We're just providing information for the audience without much slant or bias, really, we're to just, again, share information with the audience. Effective informative speakers will strive to do a couple of things. They will first try to be objective. They will work toward establishing their credibility. They will seek to be knowledgeable and they will try to speak on relevant topics. So to be an effective informative speaker, these are the things you ought to embody. Just some quick tips for informative speaking. First of all, it's important to generate and maintain interest. So how can we do that? How can we generate and maintain interest with the audience? Um, first, we can do things that, uh, that enhance the intensity of what we're talking about. You know, when we think about intensity visually, we're thinking about bright, vibrant colors, and we can, we can establish intensity within our efforts as a speaker as well through different you know, aspects such as, you know, the type of information we're sharing or the, the nonverbal delivery elements. There are lots of different ways that we can enhance the intensity. We can also focus on novelty, sharing new ideas and different ideas. We can focus on contrast. So not just sharing the status quo and, and the same things that people have heard over and over again, but contrasting an idea um, that they may have in their mind. We can engage with activity. We can, you know, give the audience something to do as we're speaking. You know, we can, keep them active in the process. We can use humor to connect with an audience and generate and maintain that interest. And we can use awesome visual aids, kind of like this, right? Like a, a PowerPoint um, that we can use to engage the audience. But whatever you're going to do, some way for informative speaking, we got to find some way to connect with the audience and then keep them involved, maintain that interest. Another tip is that we have to effectively organize our speech. Audiences are going to be um, more inclined to listen and to follow along and better able to follow along and retain the information if we've organized it well. From formative speaking, we want to use vivid, concrete language. We want to use very specific language, not a lot of abstraction. We want to use the simple language as much as possible. Uh, informative speaking, again, we're trying to share an idea, trying to help people understand something. So we don't want to try and impress them with our fancy vocabulary. We're trying to share it with them in a way that they will easily understand and retain that information. When we're speaking to inform, we can use repetition. We can um, share an idea with an audience multiple times and then keep driving that point home with them. Another thing we can do is use repetition. Did you get that? That was a little joke, but we can use repetition. We can you know, help them understand things by repeating it to them several times, not just repeating it over and over and over and over again, but bringing them back around to this idea and, and, and really helping them retain it through that repetition. We can adapt to the feedback that we're getting from the audience, not just before the speech, but during the speech as well. If we're losing an audience, we need to adjust. We need to uh, be able to, to do that, have the flexibility to adapt. We need to appeal to different learners. People have different learning styles, visual, oral, read-write style, or kinesthetic style. We need to do what we can to engage people at those different levels and with those different styles. Hopefully this gives you some ideas as to what we can do to be a more effective, informative speaker. So when you're giving a presentation where the purpose is to inform, these are some things to keep in mind that will help you be more effective in that presentation.